Hi, and thanks for joining me again today. You know, I'm going to continue uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and from verse uh, 5. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, love is not provoked. But you know, love, when we walk in the love of God, that this love is, is something that diffuses arguments. It, 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 it heals relationships. It's, you know, we've got to understand that uh, when we walk in love, that there are times when there are people that in our lives or around about us that will say things or do things that maybe they don't mean or even if they did mean it that um, we've got to understand that it's very possible that there are things going on in their own personal lives their own challenges and that for a season you know they need a little bit of uh, time to get through whatever they're going through and love covers you know the scripture says love covers a multitude of sins and so when you and I walk in love and people are being rude to you or nasty to you and you know you are expressing this love to them this unconditional love that when eventually they get through their thing whatever it might be they will always remember you as a person of understanding and a person of love and I tell you they'll end up hanging around you more than you'll ever realize so anyway I want to speak this morning about love is not provoked so what does that mean? Love is not provoked. It means it's not easily irritated and it's not provoked to anger. Uh, love is not like that. And so the, the, the picture that is given is like spurring on a horse. Now, I don't know if you've ever ridden, ridden a horse before, but on a horse, you can, you know, you get on and you want him to go. You, you can dig him in the ribs with your heels or put spurs on. And it's that instant impulse that that horse gets to bring it to a, a gallop or, or a sprint, whatever it might be. And something provoked the horse to do it. And so there was that spurring on. And love is not spurred on like that. In other words, it's not impulsive. And I just want to read something here that it speaks about, that a person of understanding will not allow a situation to provoke them or to spur them uh, to respond indecently and this is a big thing it's this is our conduct and our behavior on display and especially as a Christian where we be in the workplace at home at church or in the shopping mall wherever it may be it's just that um, a person of understanding a person who uh, walks in love they're very aware of their circumstances and they're very aware of the necessary actions that are required in any given situation and so a person of this understanding that if they are in a setting where uh, a person is trying to spur them on uh, what I mean by spurring them on that um, trying to irritate them trying to uh, you know say things to them that are not right uh, slander them whatever it may be I've observed over the years very wise people and people who I see uh, the fruit of God in their life just so evident that they walk in love you see that they remain quiet they, they will not respond and sometimes the best response that you and I will ever have is no response and so if it continues and they're trying to provoke you uh, even further and you're remaining silent and it does not seem to be getting any better it's very it's a wise thing to do to politely and gently remove yourself from that situation. But nonetheless, uh, may I ask the question, are you easily provoked? And if we are, if I am, or if you are, that uh, we got to understand that whether it's, you know, we're easily provoked or we seek our own or uh, love, you know, do we behave rudely uh, as the list goes on in 1 Corinthians 13, that if we struggle in any one or more of these uh, things, that it's a, an indicator. It, it's showing us that our love walk needs a bit of work. So anyway, I just want to leave that with you today. And uh, God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.